boyfriend or you're married to a white man you should explain to them that when you're doing your own things he cannot just pull your hair because if it's a wig <laughs> oh no yeah that could, but, that could end very badly yeah if it's a wig my friend it will come out so <laughs> <laughs> yeah especially outside hello everyone hey welcome back welcome back if you're new i'm anej i'm Swavi. So today we want to talk about, uh, basically I want to talk about, but of course you'll be contributing, <laughs> a topic that's slightly... A very complicated topic. <laughs> it's not complicated, they're not bad things. Yeah, exactly. And since I don't know yeah. what, it's about, what it's all about, <laughs> I just made a pre-statement that I'm, yeah. I will be honest and will just answer according to my best knowledge. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so the title is uh, Problems Living with a White Man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some are not, I can say problems in quotes. Yeah. Some are not like real problems. Uh -huh. Just uh, certain things that when you start living with a white man or when you start dating a white man, certain things that you have to explain to them. I didn't even know that there were problems. They're not yeah. problems. That's why I say it in okay. quotes. I know. You I know. listen to the things I'm that joking. I'm saying. I'm joking. I'm <laughs> joking. You didn't even know your <laughs> So anyway, whatever I'll say in this video is subjective to my own experiences. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to stereotype because at the end of the day, everyone is different. And there is a huge spectrum of diversity between black and white people. This is just according to my experiences. So the Tell us, we are Slav curious. Is, Slav is just waiting we for We are so to curious. <laughs> not okay. only me. Yeah. Number one is hair. Hair. Yeah. yeah. When you start dating a white man who probably has never dated a black woman before, one of the things they will not understand Ooh. that when you go to the shower, you cannot wet your hair every time you go to shower. Yeah. Yeah, that is something you have to that explain to them when you start dating. Oh yeah. Because I remember even Slavi used problem. to yeah, Slavi used to really ask me why can't you wet your hair all the time when you go to take a shower, you know? And they also don't understand why you cannot spontaneously jump into the swimming pool, both of you at the same time. Because if you have your natural hair, it's going to shrink. Mm. If it's not plated, of course, if it's plated or it's braided, you can easily swim. Mm. It will not destroy your hair. Mm -hmm. But it, if it's not plated, your hair will shrink if you just jump into the pool like that. It will shrink? Yeah, it will shrink and then later you have to blow dry it oh, and yes, it's so okay. difficult to come. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that is something that I cannot even accept until now well yeah. i i need to do it but it's, yeah it's hard again they will not automatically <laughs> understand why when you go to the salon to make your hair it takes you like hours and hours more than five hours to get your mm. hair braided to put on your weave to blow dry your hair everything it really takes a long time true. when you go to the salon as a black woman that's true yeah. So that is something our black brothers, of course, that is something they can they will understand because they have sisters still, who do it that way. Yeah, yeah. So if that is what you call problems, yes, I understand now what you mean. Like yeah, uh, that's why I say in quotes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Very, very good. Okay, a good point. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, it's it's hard to yeah to accept. And, uh -huh. that, yeah, you cannot just take a shower spontaneously or just jump into the water and make all yeah. shenanigans with me. Like, okay. <laughs> So when you start dating a white boyfriend or you're married to a white a white man you should explain to them that when you're doing your own things he cannot just pull your hair because if it's a wig <laughs> oh no yeah that could, but, that could end very badly yeah if it's a wig my friend it will come out so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah especially outside we shouldn't do such so they have to be Fight. gentle yeah, yeah. So they have to be gentle with your hair, you know? A white woman, even if you pull her hair, it's intact. Nothing mm. is going to happen. But a black woman, <laughs> if she's wearing a wig... Yeah. Well, we never heard this until now, no? Yeah, we never heard oh, it. Okay. If he's brushing his hand across your hair, mm. and you're wearing a wig, and you have some lines that you've plated, of course he's going to meet some bumps. Yeah. <laughs> If he's a white man who doesn't understand like when you're wearing a wig your natural hair is plated so of course there are bumps there it is not smooth you know mm. so that is something you have to explain to them and 
it really took me time before I showed Slavi my natural hair. Because the first time we met, I... The first time she... You didn't... Yeah, my wig was sealed in so that it wouldn't come out completely. Yeah. Yeah, but you would be surprised how eager they are to know, to learn more about your natural hair. Because it's not something they're used to. So they are very eager and interested to learn more. Like Slavi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hello everyone, for those living abroad and would love to send money back home to their loved ones, let me introduce you to an app called Tap Tap Send. You can send money to Kenya at great rates and zero transfer fees. Send money from USA, Canada, Germany, France, Italy, Belgium, Netherlands and Spain. Trust Tap Tap for convenient, safe and fast transactions to M-Pesa and to Kenyan bank accounts. Download Tap Tap Send on Google Play or App Store. You can use my special code Annie047 to get 10 euros free on your first transfer. And what mm. is so fascinating about white men with their hair, when you go to the shower, they have so many hair products. They have hair shampoo, they have hair conditioner, they have hair spray that I don't know maintains the shininess of the hair. Huh. They really take good care of their hair. They have huh. different products. Yeah. And like black your ordinary black man let's say like my brother uh, my brother doesn't have hair shampoo and uh, hair conditioner like everything everything ends at the barber shop when he goes to cut his hair that's it when he takes uh, a shower he takes a normal shower uh, he doesn't use like a shampoo a conditioner uh, a hair spray like you guys do uh, so if you are with a white man be uh, sure that where you keep your hair products he also has his hair products <laughs> yes i have my hair products yeah yeah, even two shampoos. Yeah, like different shampoos. Like Slavi normally like, a, there is one that you normally like that is salty or something. One is salty and one is coffee. Uh, yeah. One contains coffee. Yeah. Yes. The next point is okay. finances. Tell me. Oh, oh, okay. Listen to, no, just listen to what I'll say. Yeah, tell In me. the Western world nowadays, many, many men prefer to go 50-50 with finances. Mm -hmm. But that is not something that we do. But you agree mm, that many agree. Western men nowadays Me. prefer going 50-50 when it not comes all, to finances. Not yeah, all. not all, definitely. Not all. So when you come from an African background where most of the time you know it's, the, it's like a cultural thing, like the man is the provider, mm -hmm. then you date a Western man who knows that going 50-50 is the way it would be a problem yeah yeah but anyway that's not something we do so it's but, not a problem for yeah me. for for us we didn't yeah. have any issues here no yeah we haven't had any issues with finances or, we, or like we don't have set rules of you're supposed to pay for mm. this and i'm yeah. supposed to pay for this like whoever yeah. pays pays and it's mm. okay yeah yeah okay uh the next thing is cultural differences yeah, when okay. I say cultural differences, something like bride price. Oh, so if bride you start dating price. a white man and you get serious with each other, he proposes, you have to explain to them that according to our culture, there is something called bride price. Well, to me, it's very natural because if you want something good, yeah. you should pay. <laughs> Honey, like some white men will perceive it as they are buying a wife. If if you don't explain to them well, because someone will be shocked, like why should I pay to get a wife? You know, uh, it doesn't mean you're buying a but, someone. It means mm -hmm. you're just appreciating. It's a form of appreciation mm -hmm. to the girl's parents for raising her well, giving her good education, teaching her how mm -hmm. to be a good wife. Yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah this is exactly how I yeah so did it and how yeah. i accepted it i think so yeah, yeah. with Slavi, it wasn't a big deal for me to explain to him back and forth when back and forth i know it's traditional and also our friend that is also married to a Luo woman yeah. he also explained me how it is and but you know it takes a man really some time to fully understand it mm. and do it really? even your friend mm -hmm. yeah the other one oh yeah, yeah even yeah yeah, yeah. It's with Slavi, it wasn't difficult. Like, I just explained to him and he automatically understood. That is how things are done in our culture. I was born mm. when they're done that way. It was done that way before I was born. So just respect our culture. Yeah. Thank you. And so I wonder what is about to come next. <laughs> the next thing, the fourth point is arguments. 
like mean, yeah africans are very uh, expressive huh? so if i'm having an argument with slavi you better believe me i will not be talking and saying honey but you know let's just talk about it and oh, oh yeah. i'm sorry mm. and you know you this is wrong i'll be very expressive like i want to talk i want to explain to you what happened and i will talk 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 <laughs> Talk, make drama, make and two put, elephants out, out of one mosquito, and so on and so on. And put oh. 100 words in one sentence. I will want yeah. to explain, I will want to talk, I will want mm. us to. I will be very expressive. But a gentleman like Slavi, when you're having an argument and then you say something, he will be like, honey, just calm down, let's talk about it, you know. And at that time, I'm fuming, like, I want to. No. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Like Slavi normally, I... no, Slavi normally likes to say, "Come on, honey, it's not a big deal." Like in a very soft voice. Yes, exactly. And when we are arguing, he still calls me honey. Hmm. Honey, just relax. By the way, that works. <laughs> I just notice more and more that that works, because when you start to behave, yeah. I tell to myself, "Calm down. Try to yeah. calm down for two, three minutes and." But Africans are generally mm -hmm. very expressive. Yes, if you, you find a, 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 an African man and a, an African woman having an argument, everyone wants to bring their point across. Oh, like, oh. Anyway, people are different. I'm sure there are white men who also yes, really yeah. blah, blah, blah a lot when you're fighting. Mm. But my Slavi here, when I'm, when I'm really upset and i'm saying everything and I'm, uh, I'm expressing myself slav is like honey yeah calm down this is very true <laughs> i start to repeat twice thrice yeah. and then it starts to work yeah, yeah. True. when i'm upset and you're having an argument i don't even want to call him honey like there is no honey in that moment yeah, no honey. <laughs> fifth point is family okay. and friends why africans are more reserved black black people are more reserved about sharing certain things with other people yeah but white people from my own experience they are very open with their families and their friends like i'll, I'll be having an argument mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i'll be having an argument with slavi and then mm -hmm. slavi says something like but you know so and so thinks this way and then i'm taking a back like okay so and so how did so and so even know about it you know oh uh -huh. Like, let's say someone like your brother, honey, you tell yeah. your brother everything. He tells you everything. No. Honey. Even, even, <laughs> even if it is almost everything, it is not every everything. Yeah, yeah but almost so, everything. Okay. You share so much together. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, this is not a big deal. Yeah. Like, because they share a lot. They, if I tell Slavi and if I tell Slavi a gossip, it's not going to stay with Slavi. It will uh, reach his brother. No. Honey, especially your brother. But which type of gossip? There is gossip and there is another gossip. If this is something interesting to me and I want to hear somebody else's opi opinion, mm -hmm. and especially somebody who doesn't necessarily think like me or my you remember? thinking mm -hmm. patterns, then I even want to hear some opinion on that. You know what I mean? Like you remember there are certain things you normally used to share with a certain friend of yours and later will complain when I when I find out that you told her. Mm. Okay, I see. You, but you remember, yeah? Uh, yeah. Yeah, and to you, it's not a big deal. To you, it's like, honey, come on, it's not... With it's a not... very good friends, I think it's a very trusted people, men or women. Uh -huh. I think so, everybody needs to share something like, something, something special, you know? Just think they're just certain things mm. that she'll just stay because bet mm, with okay between okay us, yeah like. uh-huh okay but this is general problem for example you react in a certain type and i just want to because I, I just cannot even judge it then it is to me it seems like it's very logical to discuss it with a woman from her point of view and if i have somebody who is very trusted you know what i mean but of course i agree also that some people don't do it, then they don't do it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Some people don't. Okay, the other thing is, until now, nothing bad. Anyway, until yeah. for for us black people, we are very. For example, mm -hmm. 
my mom will never wear let's say we go for swimming together me you my sister my brother my mom mm. my mom will never wear a bikini in front of you and go to swim when mm -hmm. she's in a bikini you know it's like uh it's i don't know it's a form of respect yes like but yeah yeah so but white people oh. i've seen so many friends of mine who they are their spouses mm. like wear like just a small swimming short and go to swim and just pass there in front of their mother-in-law let's mm -hmm. say now a black woman mm -hmm. as if it's nothing you know oh yeah but for africans it's not supposed to be that true mm. like they're just certain limits and certain i think so yeah. reservations yeah yeah but i think this i can follow you more here because yeah, I'm, all, I'm also very... coming from a more traditional yeah. traditional family but uh, <laughs> there are things that here the people are just doing it yeah. just like this just like drinking water that in Africa would be I mean they would stone you there on the, on the road I mean, <laughs> like this... for them it's really not a big deal they're just certain white families that they're very open with each other and they can wear anything in front of each other mm. it's really not a big deal to them this is what i agree yeah but there are certain yeah. african african families that they just there are certain rules especially when it comes to mother-in-law brother-in-law sister-in-law yes you cannot right. just this do exactly. certain things yeah but so far i have i can't complain that you maybe disrespected my mom in any certain way mm. yeah so for me and you that point i haven't had a problem when it comes to that yeah yeah those are me too, me too. Are... well i thought that it would be far more far more worse and dangerous than what it was like was well, well, probably, probably. <laughs> but mm. between us it's, uh, differences they were yeah. not that big you know let's say that is why always when I come to Kenya, I never had such type of problems, not even with people whom I don't know, yeah. not even with friends of yours, not even with your family, you know, because yeah. also I'm adapting because I see, okay, some, some things are, well, yeah. I'm quite, we adapted quite good, so. Yeah. So there is just a huge spectrum between uh, black people and white people. At the end of the day, if you're in a relationship or you're in a marriage, you just try to adapt to the other person's culture, learn more about them and and tired. one day yeah <laughs> and maybe one day we make the other video where i am telling about the problems of living problems with me of living with. <laughs> a, a black woman ha, mm. ha, ha, bring it on <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. yeah prepare for that okay mm -hmm. you're even warning me in advance yeah. <laughs> okay sir <laughs> i will surprise you be aware that people need to adapt people need to understand each other other yeah. cultures different cultures different but love will yeah. bring everything together yeah yeah am i right yeah like us okay. okay so marcelo is sleeping right now we want to go and check on him thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it uh you can like it remember to subscribe and we always love you so very much and we love hearing from you and love spend time with you yeah ciao, ciao.